Will we get a Game 7, or does the series end tonight? Game 6, those questions are set to be answered. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Works it across to Eric Sanek. Up along the wing. Here they come on the attack. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Poked away at center by Buchnevich. The Blues have it against the wall. And he takes the pass. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Tries that last move. Maybe he should just shoot the puck or get it deep. Got a chase now. And he gets sandwiched Go. into the wall. That's really well played by the defensive player. He took away the angle, forced him into a spot, and then laid the hit. Trying to gain a step. Oh, man. What a save on the play. Flurry's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. The Blues have it from their own end. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. The Blues will play it from the corner. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Couldn't make the connection on the play. That was amazing. What a save by Fleury. And the puck's kicked free. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Controls moving it ahead. Tries to feed it over to Fleury. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Moves it to Greenway. Pass broken up. Through center along the wing. Here's a short pass to Hartman. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Along the half wall with the puck. Floats it right onto the tape. Slides the puck over. And that's blocked away. Letty's lugging the puck. Quick feed to Fulk. And that pass doesn't go. Scrum along the boards. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. The Blues have the puck now. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Letty's taking the puck behind his net. Here they come. Musa quickly over to Barbashev. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Flurry's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Here in the late goings of the period, we're still scoreless. Nice job tying up his opponent. Steele's got it along the boards. Manages to hand on. Quick pass to Duhay. Let's get the call. Scandella's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Makes the save. Denies him again. Biddington's on top of the puck and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, Jake, as he covers it up to kill the play. Brown's gliding in for the face off as this penalty kill will continue. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Well, fun start. 
start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. A clean sheet of ice beckons and period number two set to get underway. Minnesota's won the opening faceoff as their power play continues. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Gets the puck over to Kaprizov. The Blues have possession shorthanded. The Wild have possession along the boards. Moves it to Zuccarello. Scandella's ready to join the play. Minnesota's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. That power play was a lot of window dressing. They had the puck in the offensive zone, but really didn't generate a whole lot. The penalty killers must be pretty happy with that. Puts it on him, and he turned that one aside. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still no score in this one. St. Louis wins the draw. And now it's grabbed by Krug. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tarasenko. Quick snap! Oh, a clutch save! But he came out and challenged a good save. Tarasenko's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Brodeen. Slides the puck over to Foligno. Minnesota's playing it from the side. Gets it over to Bushnevich. Here's a short pass to O'Reilly. Taken by Bushnevich. Receives the pass. And a stiff break setup. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by O'Reilly. And that's broken up. Quick feed to Bushnevich. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Minnesota's gonna play it from the corner. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. Grabbed along the board by Golodowski. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Puck scooped up by Goudreau. With possession along the wall. Oh, great reflex pass stopped by Billington. Oh, turns it aside once again. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've still got zeros on the board. That's one way to take possession with both centers tied up there on that scrum. A chance in front! Tremendous stop by Bennington. He gets out right in front of that puck. It's in the low slot. He keeps himself big. There's nowhere for the puck to find a hole. Nice pass. Here we go. Two on one. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Blues are in transition. Minnesota's got the puck now. Quick pass to Jost. Lacks it into the offensive zone. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Torpchenko. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. And that pass can't connect. Can't get it to go. Steps across the blue line. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Don't mind the idea, but it doesn't work. Now you gotta chase. Well, this has been a fun one here tonight. Great energy here in the building as well. We'll get a fresh sheet of ice and come back with period number three in moments. It's about to go down. Period number three. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. Still scoreless. 
Shepard. Looks to get the puck over to Spurgeon. Moves it to Eric Zanek. And that's off a stick. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Puck picked up by Crew. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Can't find his man. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Getting a little physical there with that collision. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed from the wing. Moves it to O'Reilly. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Spurgeon's got it in the defensive end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabs the puck in the corner. From the place 99 made famous. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Gains the zone through center. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Ahead of steam now towards the front. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Puck grabbed by Letty. Takes the feed. And that pass goes off a stick. And a great read to turn that play aside. And you haven't had a chance to use that tonight. Finally, somebody scores a goal and we have a lead. Hopefully I didn't move that one. St. Louis gets a couple of lucky breaks and they've gone up by one in this third period. I don't care how it goes in, they don't care. They just like the third in front. Now you have to stay aggressive to try and defend this lead. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Ducks it in. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Even though it's low scoring, it's not boring. I mean, there's chances all over the place. Just nobody can find a way to finish it, whether it's a missed shot or a great save. Fans are loving it, though. And the puck's not loose. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect the play. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. St. Louis has it against the half wall. And that's off target as it hits a body. Flurry's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Past the halfway mark of this period, St. Louis leads it 1 0. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Minnesota's going on the attack as they gain the zone. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Saad's gaining momentum. Sends it in front. Picked off in front. Angles it over to Greenway. Shot comes up with a stop. Levels him with the hit. Minnesota's got control of the puck. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hartman. Sends the pass over. The Blues are on the attack. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Through center. Into the offensive end now. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Pennington's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Late goings of this period. We got a 1 0 game to this point. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Here's a short pass to Just. Couldn't complete the play. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Denied that one. Beatington's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net, the face-off becomes critical. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Takes it along the wall by Scandella. Beatington's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. The net is empty, a big draw here, looming inside the offensive end. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. Keeps possession on the play. Scooped up along the wall by Spurgeon. Slick feed. Makes the save! 
And now he moves it to Bodine. Off a stick and they can't connect. And now it's grabbed by Brown. Poked away in the neutral zone by Zuccarello. Picked up along the boards by Neighbors. Taken by Brown. He scores! His first career playoff goal! He was saying to a couple guys this morning, he thought he was going to be able to score soon. Looks like he's right. The blue is at the insurance marker, which pretty much seals the deal on this one, but I agree. Under a pony for the goal, they're trying to pressure to get the time goal, but it backfires, and the empty netter puts it away. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebulski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.